Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Wondershare just released beta version of Filmora 14, which is latest release of Filmora. Official version might be released in September or October. So, in this video, I am going to show you overview of all new features of Filmora 14. So, let's go to the video. If I click on check for updates, you can see all latest features that Filmora released in version 14. So, Filmora Copilot is already old. This new version has feature called multi-camera editing in which you can synchronize multiple footages from multiple cameras and then edit as one. I will show you how to use them and they also add a try now function which you can click and they will take you to walk through now if you go to next feature called ai translation this is also old voice enhancer this is also old ai sound effect this is new feature which they have released in filmora 14 now you can create sounds like chirps and other sounds from just describing it to ai now let's go to next feature called ai face mosaic in which you can mosaic your face or someone's face from video or images now they had this feature but they just released it with brand new features so i will also show you how to use them now they also released ai color palette in which you can upload or select an image ai will automatically apply the images color scheme to your clip achieve professional level, level color grading with just one click. Now, next feature, they also released in Filmora 14 called Video Denoise, in which you can remove noise from your videos. Now, this is AI, so it can sort of fail or pass, depends on your conditions of videos. So, you can use it on your own, first apply and check if it works or not. Now, another feature they introduced in Filmora 14 is called AI Video Enhancer in which you can sharpen your image a little bit. Now, this is also AI related. So, this is fail or pass type of thing. So, you have to apply first and then check if it's working for you or not. Now, Smart Search, they already released in Filmora 13. So, this is not new function. Another new function they introduced is called Planner Tracking. Now, if you read what Filmora says about it, track and replace planes in videos, perfect for off-screen license plates, replacing screens and billboards etc. It is sort of cutout function. We will see how it works. But let's go to next feature called path curve. Filmora says view the path curve of the clip and adjust it to effortlessly achieve more natural and professional animation effects. So you can now create animation based on paths we will go through it how it works now let's see each function first we will go through filmora multi camera editing first i will select classic now if i add another video now let's look at multi camera clip feature you can see if you select two clips in your project media it will show you to you can how you can create multi -ca camera clip so we can got it and right click and create multi camera clip and it will ask you if you want to create proxy files or synchronize audio how you want to synchronize audio so you can click ok it will synchronize but because my videos are different so it will fail to synchronize and ask me to do it manually as you can see created multi camera clip here now you can see this is going now you can click this is small icon to switch to multi camera view now if you go to first frame now the how this is work from my understanding is that you can go to for example this 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 now we want this video we can cut it and then we can select this and then we go through it 
now we want this back so we will cut it again and select this and now we want again this so we will cut it and select now this now if we go through video I will turn off multi camera view now see first view second view third view and then fourth view this is how multi camera editing works now we will see AI color palette feature you can click here to add video timeline then double click to open settings now in color settings they have introduced this new call AI color palette you can add it and now I can select a reference frame now because this video is whole I will add another video here and now if I open color palette enable it and now if I select this frame added yellow stone now if we change its strength you can see it is changing but it is also changing on the original frame so you have to look at both frames to determine what you want to do this is sort of looks like same if you go through it it added yellow stone because my frame had yellow stone so this was the AI color palette now if we go through curve paths I will first add this football you can click now go to videos first I can show you where is yes here is path curve now it will only enable when you open keyframes so I will add keyframes it shows path curve so when I enable it this is showing like this keyframe type I can choose curve continuous curve or freeze easy knees out is old now they first had a panel sort of here but they now do it yeah, now you can change from here or you can also click show keyframe animation and you can sort of change things here I will increase timeline length so you can see it now this will add sort of whole look now if we increase for example here size you can manage from here or you can manage from here see you can see it changes things now if we go to here and continuous curve now it added sort of curve now if we change position here and then change keyframe and then click continuous curve then again change position here then again at continuous curve here, here you can now add it like this now if we play it you can see ball is moving in curve you can make it more smooth by clicking ease in or ease out or you can also select from here change from here you can also see your keyframes here this is position this is scale you can copy keyframe and then paste it with control V see it changes scale so this was the path curve feature which they introduced in Filmora 14 and now if we delete it 
now if we again add a video then i can show you new ai features now if we go to ai tools they have introduced some new things in it like ai portrait cutout if you click it they have now two modes precision mode and instant mode instant mode applies instantly and if you select precision mode then it search for your face or humans and then apply it so it's sort of create a good effect i don't know it's ai so it's fail or pass you have to try first and see how it works you can also apply features from here if you have filmora stock filmora stock uh, subscription now if you go to down smart cut out old feature now motion tracking old feature now they have already also add planet tracking now if we click here click auto now they added a small box you can see now you can change box by change how it works you can select your image element which you want to change now if we click start this video is too big so i have to cut it out it don't take so long this is fine now if we click start all right now it has done now you can see if it works if it moving box with it yes working perfectly you can see box is moving with the element now we can select element first we can add mosaic see it's sort of showing lines instead of that element so from what i understood planet tracking and motion tracking are sort of same features but in motion tracking you can't change shape of this selection it will always be sort of rectangle but in planet tracking you can change its shape to fit your object like this a sort of create mask like you can draw with marker so this was the planet tracking now if we go down more you can see ai video ns which is paid it cost you 20 coins now if we go more down you can see it also has new feature called video dnys if it's take processing time so it's ai based we can see how much it can improve it's already 1080p video so pretty clear we will see how it manage to denuise it or make it more worse we will see where results come so it done the processing i don't think i see any a lead this planet tracking if i click video denuise to see the face no no i don't see any difference maybe if i try some lower resolution video all right i have edited lower resolution video you can cut the other part of the video now if you click video green wise you can see it's very low resolution video it is trying to do processing we can make it strong so it gives us best result or maybe worst result you can see it is also showing this here this is my project name and this is function it is applying now if we create another function for the build this ai portrait now you can see we did it here also now this is sort of new thing they added in filmora 14 we can turn it off because my cpu is already processing very fast now the already applied but i don't see any improvement i think i will have to use it even else here i spent 20 coins yes this is good now this is only text based but i don't know how it will work out on 
other videos but this is looking better you can see it creates sort of blur in mind so ai video has updated so this was another feature now if you see if we left out any feature or not so voice enhancer yes face mosaic is there and all other are done so now if i can add this video and go to here now you can go to effects in body effects we have introduced this face mosaic effect now if we go to this now i will have to you can't sort of put here because it will only apply to videos some effects you can add to the for example if i download this you can add it above the videos but not this one it will only apply to the video so if i click here delete it move it here then come here and add i will just delete other parts and there are 10 new features 10 new effects they have introduced if i add sketch blur let's see what it's doing it's also processing so they created new, this new thing which adds sort of processing so it detect face and then applied the your effect now if you have different faces more than one face you will see faces here now you can change strength and how much feather you want and opacity of it etc or you can invert it so only face shows so this is kind of cool effect if you want see now if i add background removal here now what's it doing nothing and background blur so it's already blurring background we have to sort out of this background increase background blur see now if we you can see only body string background is blur through this effect face is blur through this effect so this was the ai face mosaic effect which they have introduced in new filmora version 14 I think Filmola will release this version officially in October, end of October or mid of October. So you can give them feedback from here. Suggest a feature option. Now if you like this video, please like and subscribe my channel and share it with your friends so they can enjoy this new Filmora beta version and enjoy these new features. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.